Okay, dear students, welcome to new session. Today we are going to continue from the previous uh, lessons and we are going to study the second method of uh, solving the equation of the form ax squared plus x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Okay, this is the second method of solving the questions like this. Completing the square. The idea behind this method is to adjust the left side of a quadratic equation. It means this side. This is the left side of a quadratic equation. It means here so that it becomes a perfect square. That is the square root of a first degree polynomial. For example, x squared plus 6x plus 9 and x squared minus 4x plus 4 are perfect squares. Because x squared plus 6 is plus 9, we can write like this, x plus 3 squared. We have studied at the previous lessons in expansion of binomials of the form a plus b, a plus b to the power of 2. We could write like a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, okay? Now, as you see, x squared plus 6x plus 9, we can write like x plus 3 x square and also x square minus 4x plus 4 we can write like x minus 2 square okay this is the general formula of expanding the binomial form a plus b to the power of 2 if we expand x plus 3 to the power of 2 from this formula we will get this okay this is the meaning of a perfect square so how to write a quadratic equation as a perfect square we are going to study okay in first step Make sure that a is equal to 1. What was a? a was the coefficient of x squared, x squared plus bx plus c. Make sure that a is 1, okay? If not, if a is not 1, it's, if it's other numbers, divide each term by a. It means we will divide each term by a, okay? a cancels with a, it just we have 1x one x, one x squared, okay? We completely need this kind of coefficient it means one second we write the equation so that the constant term is alone on one side of the equation it means we have to move the constant terms to the other side of equation okay take one over two of the coefficient of x term what is x term this is x term it means bx okay we need one one over two of this x term it means we will divide this term by two okay term and square root. We will divide this term by 2 and we will make it double. It means we will square it. 4. Add this number to both sides of the equations. After dividing this term by 1 over 2 and after squaring, we will add that number by the both of the equations, both sides of the equations. 5. Factor the left hand side into a perfect square. As we Mentioned, mentioned in the previous page, for example, x plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, we will make this uh, part of the equations to a perfect square, okay? 6. Solve for x by using a square root property. Okay, and after that, I will teach you how to solve this kind of questions. Let us see several examples of completing the square when the coefficient of x square is equal to 1. Okay, when the coefficient is 1, we will see how to complete the squares. Look, x squared plus 4x. If we have a questions like this, ax squared plus bx is equal to 0, how can we Complete this square, okay? For example, x squared plus 4x. What should we do? First, let me check if the coefficient is 1 or not. Yes, the coefficient is 1. So, what should we do? We should divide 4x, it means this term, by 2. 1 over 2. It means times by 1 over 2 or dividing by 2. Doesn't matter. Okay. 4 divided by or times 1 over 2 will be 2. After getting 2, we have to make, them, make, make it a square or double it. 2 to the power of 2 will be 4. After getting this 4, we have to add this number to the both sides of the equations. So, x squared plus 4x plus 4. So, what do we get? We get a perfect square, x plus 2 to the power of 2. If we expand it, it will be x squared plus 4x plus 4. Did you see? Okay. 
Also, x squared plus 12x. Okay, look, the coefficient is 1. We will divide the x term by 2. 12 divided by 2 will be 6. Am I right? We will square it. 6 to the power of 2 will be 36. We will add 36. It means x squared plus 12x plus 36 will be x plus 6 to the power of 2. Okay? This is a perfect square. They are the same examples like this. Let me solve two examples. Okay, x squared plus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. First of all, we have to, we have to move this constant number to the right-hand side of the equation. So the equation will be x squared plus 6x equal to 2. So the coefficient is 1. Okay, doesn't matter. We need a coefficient of 1. After that, we should divide the x term by 2. It means 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. We will double the 3 or we will square it. 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. So we should add to the both sides of the equations 9. I mean x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 2 plus 9. So x plus 6x plus 9. What is the perfect square? x plus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 plus 9 is equal to 11. Did you understand? So what should we do in order to find x? We have to take the square root of each side. Okay? So in here it will be x plus 3 is equal to plus and minus 11. Okay, let me solve the first x1 okay x plus 3 is equal to plus 11 x will be 11 minus 3 8 it means x1 is equal to 8 x2 x plus 3 is equal to minus 11 okay we move 3 to the other side x is equal to minus 11 minus 3 so it will be minus 14 is equal to x2. Did you understand? x1 will be 8 and x2 will be minus 14. And also, let me solve another question. Okay, first we should make the coefficient of x squared 1. What should we do? We should divide each term of the equation by 2. 2, 2, 2 and also 2. 2 cancels with 2 x squared 2 cancels with 4 minus 2x plus 1 over 2 is equal to 0. We will move 1 over 2 to the right hand side. So x squared minus 2x is equal to minus 1 over 2. Okay, we will divide the bx uh, term, it means the coefficient of uh, b, uh, x term by 2. Okay, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. If we square it, the answer will be 1. It means 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 1. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1 and also minus 1 over 2 plus 1. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is the perfect square of what? The perfect square of x squared minus 2x plus 1. We solved this perfect square from this formula. a plus minus b the power of 2. We have studied <coughs> in the identities. So, and here the answer will be 1 over 2, okay? Right hand side of the equation. So, if we take the square root of both sides, so x minus 1 will be plus and minus 1 over 2. x1, x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2, it means plus. We move 1 to the other side. So x will be 1 over 2 plus 1 will be 3 over 2. x1 is 3 over 2 and x2. x minus 1 will be minus 1 over 2. So x will be minus 1 over 2 plus 1 if we move minus 1 to the other side. So the answer will be 1 over 2. So they are the solution of this completing, by, uh, completing the square method. Okay, thanks for watching.